Hey guys, Chips back again with episode 3 of Let's Play Dead Island. Now I know I took a, a pretty big break between episode 2 and uh, right now and episode 3. But uh, I'm ready to jump back into the action. I know you guys have been patient and uh, here we go. So apparently we're on chapter 2 or something. I didn't, I didn't think we're on chapter 2. Last time, if you didn't catch the episode, we basically did some uh, main story quest. Then we did a very hard side quest. So uh, I did die uh, once during that during the the very hard quest but we managed to get it done somehow all right we finally spawned here and uh cinema is telling me what to do like he always does because he's uh he's a lazy punk look at him he's such a punk he has so many tattoos on his arm like look at you don't you belong in a biker gang whoa i drank alcohol for no reason i'm gonna smack him nope it won't let me so i gotta actually let's uh let's open up my quest i think l brings up my quest yep here we go so we have our main quest and our side quests here actually finished a lot of main quests apparently um so let's let's see what this one is help mike and dominic so i did not i, I helped one of them so i gotta help the other one i think i helped who did i help i i can't figure it out i think i i think i need to help dominic now whoa i'm drunk guys whoa what's going on here whoa don't drink and uh walk <laughs> it's it's pretty difficult in this game. So here's Dominic, I think. I'm trying to talk to him. He doesn't want to talk to a drunk guy, apparently. So uh, I'm going to smack him around. Hopefully he's in the mood to talk now. Yeah, punk. So he's still not... He just he still doesn't want to talk. I think I already accepted his quest, actually. That's why he doesn't want to talk to me. Because he knows I haven't even completed his quest yet. So uh, quest giver... Um, Dominic, here we go. So on the air, go to the lighthouse and bring back a signal amplifier, guys. Here we go. I'm going to click this so that uh, it highlights it on the bottom right, as you can see. It g leaves a little uh, dotted path for me to follow. So that's really cool. I like that questing feature a lot. And you can uh, you can switch between quests and then the dotted lines would change. The dotted uh, path would change. So we're going to go over here and uh, let's see what we have. We only have a shovel and my fist, as that's all we need. A shovel... And, uh, I, again, I'm liking this poster here. This, uh, billboard. I could get used to that. Like I said, the graphics are really... Oh, I saw a zombie. Oh, come on, man. My, my shovel just died after, like, one shot. Oh, yeah, um, I can press E to kick, as you just saw. Look at me just punch him out. Oh, you want some, too? I wish the zombies would fight each other in this game. That'd be pretty funny. They do in Left 4 Dead, actually. It's, it's funny to, like, watch them. So I'm just ground and pounding these guys. Look at me. Ugh, son, back of the head. That's not illegal. So, uh, gonna kick this guy in the ass a little bit. There you go. Sit down like a good boy. There you go. Got 28 EXP, guys. So I'm gonna grab some wire out of this guy's uh, swimming shorts here and move along. Maybe there's something in the car. Oh, we got some uh, energy drinks, guys. Whoa, I just kicked the energy drink. Uh, there we go. F is to pick up everything, guys. F is the, the answer to all my problems. You have skill points available. Press U to spend them. So... Like I said, you have three skill trees here. You got your combat survival and your fury. We actually haven't unlocked my fury yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, fury is when you take a, a certain amount of damage, you go into, like, this rape mode. So, uh, when the rage meter is full, hold Z to activate your special fury skill. So, um, rage mode basically lets me kill zombies very quickly. Whoa, she's really mad. So, uh, whoa, she had a name on her, I think. And I'm going to go, uh... Reach down in her bikini for those eleven dollars. You're gonna grab some car parts while I'm at it, and then I'm gonna move along. So we're not too far from the lighthouse, guys. So I think we're really close. Oh, there's the lighthouse. There we go, guys. We're not too far away now. Up, oh, there's a gate. Gotta let me in. Up. Oh. oh, there we go. We got a human here. Go Evan. Inside. Talk to James. Oh, that's uh. Those are some pretty clear instructions right there. Can't be. You're alive. Where the hell did when I we put left that? Cinemoy, you looked like Jesus. I look like Jesus. All right, I'll take that. Ned, hey Ned. I'll uh, let you smoke that cigarette because uh, you're totally ignoring me right now. So I'm supposed to talk to uh, James. I'll take you to James. Oh, you're gonna take me there? Fine. Where where do I go? Oh look, I found uh, a heavy pipe. Sweet. That's awesome. Look at the blue screen of death, guys. In the zombie apocalypse, uh, I guess the internet's just not really uh, working. That's kind of sad, actually. So we're... Oh, I gotta go through here. There we go, guys. It took me a while to figure it out, but uh, I'm, I'm good. James Stein, holy shit, you're alive, yeah? We saw you get bit by one of those things, man. Yeah, man. 
I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. Oh, I thanks. Get the hell out of there. Oh, so you're a pussy. That's what you're telling me. And Cinema is actually nice We're enough to help me. Uh, help me. All right. For we sure could use your oh, now he's asking for my help. So he abandoned me? Then he has the nerve to ask me for my help. So we're going to go ahead and just accept this quest anyway because we're such nice people. We're going to press A to accept the quest. Help people around the lighthouse find yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, we got to go back to Dominic. So we got to go back to the, the crew, the Cinemoy crew. Give him back the signal amplifier because uh, that's that was our original quest when we started this. So we're going to go ahead and reverse here. I'm glad we don't run out of gas in the zombie apocalypse. I mean, that would suck. Like, say you're just about to run over a zombie, right? And, like, you run out of gas. And, like, the zombie just surrounds you and kills you. Oh, and apparently the survivor can survive me ramming my car into his ass. So we're going to go ahead and drive along here. Drive back to Cinema and the crew. Tell them all the things I saw and the people I met. Gonna talk to Dominic here. Give him the single nice. signal amplifier. Get this, fucker to work. get this fucker to work. Gotta watch my language here, guys. So uh, on the air, we got the quest completed. So we gotta talk to Cinemoy now. I believe. Yep, we gotta talk to Cinemoy. I'm a, I'm a mind reader, guys. I can meet. I can read the mind of Dead Island. So I don't know what we have done without you, might. So we're gonna take. Uh, we're gonna. <laughs> wow, we took three hundred eighty-eight dollars from Cinemoy here. I love how he just takes I'm cash. Like, what am I going to use with the cash? And the zombie apocalypse here. Whatever. So, um, what else do we have? Let's go back to our quest menu and see what else we got. So, talk to Cinemoy. So, I, I, I guess I didn't do that enough. I've got the radio going, but I'm not hearing anything. Either this guy is farther away than I thought, or one soon's messing with the transmission. This may take a while. But don't worry. I have something for you to do in the meantime. Uh oh, he's got Run something for us to do, guys. Food and water. Think you can find some. Oh, uh, we gotta be the bitch boy, guys. Got it's another bitch boy quest. We got a baseball bat as a as a reward for this. Difficulty's easy, so we're gonna go ahead and accept that. So it's really weird how the game exposes you to various difficulties of quests. You saw me do a very hard quest on like my second episode, which was very early on in the game. So I'm actually surprised that they even had that there. I don't know why they did that. They should have like only mediums and like easies right now. Oh my god, well it scared me. There we go. Got another guy in here. He's not too happy about it. I'm crashing his party, bro. So I gotta get some cans of food, guys. Here we go. Got one can of food. We got we need uh we need two more, I think. Yep, one more. Got some money. That's all there was. Oh bloody hell, that won't do. We need, we to, need to find more. I knew it. Skill point is available. Reliable baseball bat. Here we go, guys. And whoa, the baseball bat's like stuck in the seal. It's actually stuck in the sky here. It's actually sticking out of his head. And he's like looking at me like what? What's wrong with me? Like there's a fucking baseball bat sticking out of your head. But we're gonna go ahead and and uh and select that if it lets me. Probably gonna drop the Molotov cocktail, I think. Yeah, I think we dropped it. Yeah, it's over there in the corner. Reliable baseball bat. I love baseball bats. They're awesome here. So Dead Island, a true story, guys. That's uh, that's pretty funny actually. They have a book about themselves. I think they're I think they're I think we're all writing it as a as a team or something. So uh let's open up our quest log and see what we have to do next. So seek and loot, we gotta talk to Cinema yet again, guys. Cinemoy, our main quest giver. You hearing me, Mike? There are two petrol stations in the area. Right? Petrol. One by the lighthouse and one by the tunnel to the city. There might be some food and drinks there. I need you. All right, so this is a hard quest, guys. Uh oh, I'm uh seeking loot. I like that. I like the quest there, right there. We're gonna go ahead and accept this. Check the two gas station and bring two yeah. packs of juice. You might so, need a actually, probably yeah. I'm gonna need a car for this one, guys. And the gas station is actually this way, so we're gonna take a take a left on Elm Street, guys. We're gonna run over a zombie on our way to the gas station here. Here we go, guys. Whoa, got some more. Whoa, what is going on here? So uh, just took out like three zombies, like a bunch of uh, bowling pins. Oh, we picked up a spare, guys. We picked up a spare. 
Take a seat. Whoa, that's uh oh no, the guys over here died? No way. Whoa, I just uppercut it. Oh my god. I just uppercutted him and knocked his fucking legs off. That was epic, guys. That was a fucking epic Shoryuken from fucking Street Fighter. Here we go, guys. I'm getting pumped up again. And uh, I got some random uh, people on the floor. Gonna show that dead body who's boss, guys. There we go. Loading up the juice pack. Number one here. I think we need one more, guys. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was juicy guys. I love that. Oh we got some three oh I missed. That was a gutter ball right there. Here you go guys. Can I get a strike? Can I get a strike? It's a strike! Woo! Whoa -ho -ho! yeah guys, and I'm still going. Crashing through that pole, guys. Oh my god, I am so good at this game, I swear. Okay, maybe I'm not. As I say that, of course, I lose control and hit a tree. I gotta make a left here at the gas station. And I'm liking that sign there, guys. It's a, it's a really nice sign. So, uh... <laughs> gonna run over these zombies because I know they're alive. They're just pretending to sleep. Gotta run that guy over, too. And I see one over there. We gotta wind up, guys. We gotta wind up all the way back here. They got a lot of rudders, guys. Oh yeah. Look at them. Oh my god, look at them. They're all just <laughs> they're all just caught on the car. That's pretty funny. And now my car is stuck. So that wasn't a good idea. So whose idea was that, really? Come on, guys. You gotta stop uh, influencing me like that. So my car is actually stuck sideways into this in Oh my god, this is such a fail. I can't bring the juice boxes on foot. So what am I gonna do now? There we go. So, uh, we finally were able to climb up the ladder here. And, whoa, there's a thug zombie. Whoa, oh, God. Yo, he's going to knock me off the roof. I just know it. Whoa, I'm trying to... There we go. So, uh... I... Whoa, I just blew his legs off, guys. That was pretty sweet. So, uh... So absolutely owning. I get $238 for killing that guy, so that was pretty cool. I got a personal ID, so we got his ID card, guys. We're going to grab some energy drinks to restore our health here. We're going to grab our pipe, our spiteful crowbar, so that's a pretty cool weapon here. So there are actually weapon tiers in this game. There's actually fruit here, too. That's pretty cool. So the weapon tiers in this game, there's, like, normal weapons, there are uncommon weapons, and there are, like, rare weapons, and there's also legendary weapons. So, unfortunately, I haven't unlocked uh, any of the the later weapons just yet. I, I'm using the common ones still. Gonna take $23 out of his ass before I knock him down. Alright, I guess his leg is stuck th through the floor, so he's not gonna go down. Wow. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this and jump down like Batman. I feel like Batman now. Ooh, we got some, uh, got some lockers to loot here. Flexible hose. Not sure what I can do with that. Got a duct tape. Got a lot of duct tape here. What else we got? We got soap, guys. How useful is soap? So, uh, metal scrap. I actually need that to make the the Ripper mod. So, I actually didn't tell you guys what the Ripper mod was. It's a... Hmm. A flimsy stick. I don't want that. Juice pack. Here we go, guys. That's what we need. So, I guess I can't open the door with that in my hand. That's kind of weird. So, the Ripper mod is actually a baseball bat that has a... It has a like a, a buzz saw on top of it. It's actually really awesome. I haven't seen it in action yet, but it looks extremely deadly. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that blockade and put this one in my truck. All right, guys, we loaded up uh, juice pack number two, and we're gonna go ahead and head back to uh, the life car tower. And as you can see, gas prices are pretty high even in this game. Wow. Gonna try to drive around this. I think that's a good idea. There we go. Whoa, gonna drive some through some zombies as well. So I gotta put this in the garage. That that truck just like shit itself apparently. There's like shit everywhere. So here we go guys, finally completing the quest. 
So let's talk to Cinema, and uh, that's going to do it for episode three. Let's see what he has for me, though. I'm very curious. I want a handsome reward. A very handsome one. Thanks, mate. I was losing hope. That's just what I was hoping for. All right, I got uh, I got a lot of cash though. So we're talking to Sinemoy once more, and uh, he's telling us more about the uh, transmitter. I guess it's not working. So we gotta boost it. disappears in a flash. I was afraid to even think about it. Uh, I look for supplies in town. Can you do it for us, man? Very hard. Uh oh, guys. This is going to be uh, a very interesting episode 4, I can tell you that much. Recover the truck from the hotel's parking garage. That sounds like an epic quest. We're going to save it for the next episode, guys. So until then, I will catch you guys later. Going to press A to accept uh -huh. that quest. The tunnel leading to the town is blocked. Uh -oh. things are everywhere. But I have a plan. And Cinema has a plan, guys. We got a plan of action. Get through the tunnel. It's that rig. Uh oh. So, until then, guys. Chips, signing out.